on another adventure. So excited. Um, today is Thursday, May the 25th, and I am headed to Boston for Elevation Conference. Mom is here. Mom is dropping me off. This is my first solo trip in probably ever or in a long while. Ooh, oh, that was crazy. Um, uh, Janessa can't make it. Her nephew is graduating. Uh, so she has to be a good aunt and go to his graduation. Um, so I'm gonna hold down the fort. Um, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna take you guys on this solo travel adventure. We're doing okay. We're gonna be good. Um, I got up at you like... No, I had to sleep in my eye. Oh. It felt like I had sleep in my eye, but as I touched my face, I forgot that I put stuff on my face so I don't have sleep. But, you know. I'm still waking up. Still, you know, whatever. It's, early. it's super early. Yeah, well, not super. Yeah. I would be getting up for work around this time. I feel like one left the last. What time is it? It's 6. 23. I'm saying it's later than the last. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, the last flight was ridiculous. At 50, my high score is 50,000. No way you can beat it. Hola, guys. Hi. Okay, so the craziness is a little over. Um, I have made it to the Airbnb, ended it around like 12 something, had to go get the car. That was a crazy mess. So the car isn't in the same vicinity as the airport. You have to like drive to it or shuttle to it basically. So we shuttled over there. It, like the shuttle bus to getting to the rental car was insane. Boston do better, please. And then driving here is just, it's giving me a headache. I legit don't like driving in general. I mean, I like driving, but I could, I could like chill in the car instead. I would rather prefer to not drive. Um, and these people are absolutely nuts. Plus I'm not driving like a little car. I'm driving a nice size SUV, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that we can make sure we have enough room for everybody and stuff like that. I'm stressed out y'all. I'm literally in my Airbnb bed and I'm about to lay down for a second. I have to, apparently you have to move your car every two hours. So I'm just praying that God has a car for, a, a spot for me every two hours. Because I'm right now, currently I'm parked right in front of the door, which is bless. Hallelujah. Um, but I'll have to move in a second. And, yeah. Just pray for your girl. Okay, guys, excuse this awful lighting. It's really bad. Hold on, let me see if I can fix it for y'all. I hope that's a little better. It's still trash, but we'll do. Um, there's a Target haul. Um... I just grabbed a few things, nothing crazy. I got some EOS, um, some EOS hand lotion, hand cream, um, cause I needed lotion. I got two of those. Um, I got, uh, this soap and glory, uh oh. I got this Soap and Glory shower gel. And then lastly, I got, um, I've, I've been wanting to try the Natives. Um, so I got travel size of the Native body wash. Okay, so. Um, okay, so a um, little update on what's been going on. Uh, Cause it's been a little minute since I picked up the camera. So I took myself on a solo date. It was a lot of fun. Um, I had not done that ever before. So being adventurous, branching out and doing stuff new in a whole new city too. Um, it was a lot of fun though. Um, I got 
some I went to this place called the Parma um, I'll list it in the description box if you're ever in East Boston definitely come try it out it's so good I got their steak tips which is basically like steak pieces cut up kind of like rib tips um, and some fries and then they give you complimentary um, why does my camera keep doing that it gives you complimentary um, salad and bread and their bread was so divine their salad was good it was just like super wet like they put a lot of the vinaigrette stuff on the they could have did without that honestly but you know I'm grateful that it was free and I didn't pay for it um well maybe I paid for it in more more than one way but in neither here nor there it was really good I don't know why it keeps doing that sorry guys my camera's being crazy right now um but I just hung out with Arva for a little bit here at the house um she pulled up on me um I lay down for a little bit because I was I'm tired still like I'm crazy for even going outside tonight but we're about to go to get dinner like a super late dinner like 9 p.m. reservation type dinner which is crazy but we're gonna go do that and then um, come back here to the house there's things we got to do as far as setting up for stuff oh look who's calling my sister. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm vlogging, crazy. Oh, what are you talking about? Giving them a synopsis of my day. Arva just left. Huh? Arva just left? Yeah. No, I didn't take a nap. I wanted to. I wanted to. And I'll be back. Hola, guys. Good morning. Welcome to day two of being in Boston. Um, last night, I did not vlog nearly anything. Uh, I met up with the team. We went out to eat. I wasn't hungry because of that self date we ate too good so i got some dessert and it was not great at all it was very mid i'm used to my skillet cookies being something different i'll show i think i have a picture of it i might not even have a picture of it that's crazy but um yeah it is now eight what time is it Eight forty-six. i have um pickups to do for the airport um, I'm about to go get Caleb Mitchell, AI, The Anomaly, and Aaron, my boss. Um, and then we are going to drop them off here at the Airbnb and then go off to, and then I'm going to go off to the venue so I can get things, oh shoot, so I can get things squared away and set up and stuff like that. So yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. Um, come along with me on the journey. It'll be a vibe. Uh... Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I just wanted to check in with you guys. Um, so yeah, I love y'all. These are so fire. Um, Look at these. Got last minute decision. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the vibes. Oh, man, I love y'all. I love y'all. Okay. Here's one verse. Mark 4, 33. Write it down. And the reason that I'm saying that is because I know that I don't really listen to the lyrics. I accept that. So it was like a couple of times I was like, oh, I really rock with that. So. This side, do you feel it? This side, do you feel it? This side, do you feel it? This side. Uh, sonically. Not necessarily your newest thing or your freshest thing, because it might be your newest thing, so you're hyped on it. But you could have a song that's two or three years old that's just like an earworm. And that's what you want, because you want us walking away remembering you. What's your name, man? Drew. Drew? Oh, I see you in the Drew house. I rock with you. All right, Drew, I'm going to remember you just for that. So that's a good branding point. You seem to understand yourself. So keep going. I'm rocking with it. I think it's a solid album cut. I would be interested to hear more of your stuff, for sure. I like how it sounds. 
length, but I think if you could like cut the intro uh, lengthwise, and I think it was different. Like I like tracks that don't sound like everything else, and that caught my attention. That aspect. Okay, so I'm coming to end the vlog because I totally forgot to end the vlog. Um, basically, after the mm -hmm. concert and stuff like that, typically we have a day where we just like chill, hang out in the city and stuff like that. Um, but I had got awful news that my godfather had passed away. And so I was like, you know what? I need to just come home and, you know, be with family and grieve with my family. I had got the news while I was out of town. Um, so I wasn't like the perkiest this vlog and so I do apologize and I wasn't like as like happy to be vlogging but I wanted to vlog because I love to look back on memories and stuff like that it was just like once I got the call I was just like sad <laughs> I was sad um but during the conference God literally did something um there was a worship night on Saturday, a worship segment, like the entire time. And it was just beautiful. There were so many people that spoke into my life. Um, so much encouragement that I got. I did a panel and I was that I was speaking on and stuff like that, which was really cool. But the feedback was just amazing and super encouraging for me, myself, to continue forward, for me, myself, to trust that I know what I'm doing, that I'm called, that I'm chosen, that I am um, literally God's, you know, God's God's child and um, not only am I his child but he has so many great plans for me and as long as I just walk through each and every door um, I will be good to go um, so that was just amazing to experience to uh, go through and um, when I got back home you know I was able to just really like ease my mind and ease back into the week the work week and things like that um so yeah but i want to thank you guys so much for following along on this journey with me um this social media thing has not been easy and that was part of one of the things that i was talking about um during the panel uh people asked various different questions on how to get started and how to continue going and how to keep pushing and how to persevere and things like that and honestly this is not for the faint of heart if you are somebody that wants results yesterday and want uh it's super quick and easy and accessible like that is not you're in the wrong profession um but if you want a slow build if or a slow burn if you will if you want something that okay maybe it's not going to be the easiest to get it but it'll be so rewarding and so worth it this is it um and so yeah but i thank you guys so much uh i love you guys so much um you guys are totally amazing sorry my phone's going crazy but you guys are totally amazing and you guys are just the best supporters best followers best family best friends um that a girl could ever have and i really appreciate you guys being on this journey with me i appreciate you guys for following everything like that the next i have one more video before i will be posting the giveaway video or two more videos i don't know yet <clears throat> But just know that my 500 subscriber goal uh, giveaway video is coming so very soon. Um, and yeah, I love you guys. And thank you so much for being a part of this journey. Bye. Cause I'm royalty. He says I'm royalty.